हेलो टीचर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स सो आज के वीडियो में आई बी कवरिंग अप हाउ ए टीचर कैन गिव असाइनमेंट टू द स्टूडेंट एंड वेन असाइनमेंट विल बी गिवन टू द स्टूडेंट हाउ स्टूडेंट कैन सी द असाइनमेंट इन दियर स्टूडेंट इंटरफेस एंड हाउ स्टूडेंट कैन सबमिट दियर असाइनमेंट टू द टीचर अगेन एंड देन आफ्टर हाउ टीचर कैन सी दैट असाइनमेंट फ्रॉम दैट स्टूडेंट एंड हाउ टीचर कैन ग्रेट दैट पर्टिकुलर स्टूडेंट सो प्लीज सी माई वीडियो केयरफुली टू गेट इट डन तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टीचर हैव टू ओपन देयर क्लास रूम अकाउंट आई एम शोइंग हाउ इट कैन बी डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ मोबाइल फोन तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आफ्टर गेटिंग ओपन विद द अकाउंट टीचर कैन क्लिक टू एनी क्लास दे वॉन्ट टू एंटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई जस्ट गेट इन टू क्लास फाइव जस्ट थिंक अबाउट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू गिव अ असाइनमेंट टू माई क्लास and the time period for the assignment is 1 hour so how that particular assignment can be given to get it done teacher first have to go to the option class work and then after they have to click to the option that is plus sign over there after clicking on to plus sign they can choose the option that is called as assignment after clicking on to assignment they can give a title for example class test in description section you can give date or any information that you want to it is not mandatory as it is written it is optional then after in point value teacher can either give any point value or they can set as unmarked for example in this particular case i am setting this particular exam as unmarked and it will be of no point value and after that we have to save this particular changes after getting it done we have to go to the option that is called as due after clicking on to no due date you can select a date for example just think about that if the assignment will be given to the student at this particular moment of time that is on 18th of september 2020 so i have to choose the time i have to choose the date as 18 september 2020 in the similar way i can set the time also for example they have to submit the assignment by 11:45 just right now it's 11:15 so the examination is of half an hour and by 11:45 they have to submit the assignment so half an hour time i am giving to my student so i have set the time please be sure ki you are clicking on to am or pm option it's very important to set the time carefully and then after press on to okay option so after setting the time as well as date you can choose any topic it's not mandatory you can choose any topic for example you can add a topic or if you don't really want to add anything you can set it as like this only after that the teacher need to attach a question paper for the student to get it done they have to click on to this attachment option at the top after clicking on to them they can choose the file that they have created for example think about that the teacher have already created the question paper in pdf file so teacher need to choose the pdf file for the student such that it can be distributed to get it done click on to the option that is file after clicking on to file just choose the file that you want to give to the student as the file is not shown over there so i can click on to three horizontal lines over there and can go to download option or whatever be the drive where the file is located just think about that this particular file i want to give to the student i have selected that and then after it will take a bit of time to get it uploaded after it will be getting uploaded you can find it out ki the name of the file will be shown at the bottom in the material section of it you can click on to this i section that is preview section and you can click on to this arrow part you can set the option as student can view or you can make a copy for a student just think about that i want to make a copy for a student so i have to click on to make a copy for a student 
or if you just simply want to make a single copy such that student can see it you can also write student can view I will make a copy for each student so that's why I'll be clicking on to them and after getting it done I have to click on to post option at the top just think about that okay, I'll be posting this assignment and the time period to get it done is 11 45 p.m. today so I'm posting my assignment right now after the assignment will be getting posted you can find it out assignment created done so just right on the stream option you can see the new assignment has been provided to the student that has been posted at 11 18 pm after you will click on to it you can find it out the all 35 students are assigned with this particular student or the particular assignment but none of the student have handed in the assignment to me so as a student i will show you how to submit the assignment and how teacher can come to know if the student have submitted the assignment so just right now i'll be switching on to a student account to show how student will be submitting the assignment to the teacher and then after finally i will show you as a teacher key how we can see the assignment from the student side and how we can check it done so this is the first portion just right now i'll be switching as a student account and then after i will show to you key how it can be done Thank you very much for this particular portion and just right now I will be moving to student account. Okay, just right now I will be switching to Google Classroom as a student. Just think about that. I am Ayusha of class 5. I have taken permission from Ayusha to get this account use. So first of all as a student account that is Ayusha I can see all the classes and all the subject that he actually get in his class 5. So in computer class 5 he can find it out the class test assignment is already been given. So after seeing that he can click on to the class. After clicking on to the class he can find it out a new assignment that is class test has been given by the teacher at 11.18 pm today. So after clicking on to that, he can find it out, the a question paper is given. So if he can click on to this, he can view the whole question paper. Okay, so this is the one. Just think about that, he has done the work and he just simply want to submit the work. He has captured the photograph of the assignment that was given. He has done the work. And just right now, after capturing the photograph of the completed work, he need to submit the work to the teacher. So how he can submit? So I'm showing you again. You can find the assignment given by the teacher in the STEAM option. So after clicking onto the assignment, you can find it out that there's an attachment. So after clicking onto that attachment, you can view the whole assignment that was given by the teacher and if a student want to submit the assignment to the teacher then it can be easily done by just swiping up you can find it out an arrow showing over there you will swipe it up there will be an option called hand in before handed in to the teacher you can add your answer script you can either capture a photograph or you can create your own PDF file. Just think about that. I want to add the assignment and want to hand it over to the teacher concern. So how it, how it can be done? Just click on to add attachment option. Just click on to file option. After clicking over there, just think about that. I want to submit a particular file to the teacher just think about that okay, this is the one or i can easily search my assignment in the images option or in the document option just think about that okay, this is the one that i want to submit so i have to click on to specific assignment after clicking on to that it will be taking a bit of time to getting it uploaded after it will be uploaded, 
you can find it out. The computer to assignment has been submitted by the name of Ayusha. So he will be submitting the assignment just right now. He can add any private comment to the teacher also. For example, thank you sir, I have submitted the assignment. Just think about that. I will be writing a message for the teacher. Thank you sir for the test. And after clicking on to this post option, it can be seen by the teacher. It will be a private comment. So others cannot see that. So as you can see, the due date is 11.45 pm today. So after I will be swiping it up and as I have already uploaded my attachment, I can attach more pictures or PDF file while handing it over to the teacher. For example, I want to add another file. So I have to click on to find add attachment option over there again. Then after, I can either take a photograph or I can find my file in my drive. Just think about that. I will be finding another file again. Just think about that. This is the one. So after clicking on to that, it will take a bit of time to get it uploaded. I will be waiting for a moment of time to get it done. After it will be getting done, I have to click on to hand in option. After submitting the hand in option, it will show like this, three assignments will be submitted to for class test. So I have to click on to hand in. So after handing it out, the teacher can now see that Ayusha of class 5 have submitted the assignment successfully. Let's see how the class teacher assignment interface will be looking like. Yes, just right now the work is submitted and it's showing that it's all done. So from my side, the assignment is completed and I have also submitted the assignment that was provided by the teacher. Just right now, I'll be switching as a teacher and I'll be showing you whether as a teacher can I see the assignment submitted by Ayush. Let's check it out. I'm switching it to my teacher account. After switching it to the teacher account, I'll be clicking on to class 5 option. Then after, I'll be clicking on to new assignment class test. After that, I can find it out key one handed in option is shown and I can easily find the name of the student who had handed it to me. The name of the student is Ayusha. If I just simply want to see what Ayusha have done, I have to click on to his name. After clicking on to that, I can see his personal comment also. Thank you sir for the test as well as whatever be the document that he has attached, I can also view it by just clicking on to that. So after clicking on to it, I can view what he has submitted. So in the similar way, teacher can see what Ayush has submitted and then after, I will check the assignment by just clicking on to this pencil option over there. After clicking on to this pencil option, I can find a marker or a pen over there. So after clicking on to marker or pen, I can start with my checking by choosing a specific color as well as width of my pen. For example, the width is this much and the color will be set to red. Just right now, I can put tick mark like this. And then after, I can give the marks that is A. And after it will be done, I can submit the assignment written back to Ayush. It can be easily done by clicking on to this three vertical arrow and I have to click on to save option. After it will be getting saved, it means that okay, I have checked the assignment. And then after, it will be written like that, edited computer, this assignment. And this is provided by the teacher to Ayush as he has sub submitted successfully. So if Ayush will be 
clicking onto this file he can see that his assignment has been checked by the teacher successfully so let's see i will be returning back the assignment back to the ayush by giving him some personal comment good ayush well done and then after after clicking on to post option so ayush can now see ki yeah, ayush has done the assignment successfully and then after i have to click on to return option after clicking on to return option this message will come up where it is written like that ki the ayush will come to know that the teacher has checked the assignment successfully and the check portion will be written back to ayush again so i'll be clicking on to return so after i'll be clicking on to return the check portion as well as the other document that was being submitted by the ayush will reach to ayush again let's check it out whether ayush can see it or not after teacher will check the assignment one returned option will be shown over there and the remaining 34 student are still to submit the assignment and none of them have handed in yet so just right now you can see ki each and every student name is assigned with the assignment but none of them have handed in except ayusha and in front of the ayusha you can find a tick mark it means that ki ayusha have successfully submitted the assignment in time in the similar way other student will be submitting in submitted the assignment and then after the handed in option will be increasing so teacher can easily track ki which student have submitted and which student have not in the similar way after checking it out when teacher will be returning back the document back to the student the return the option will increase automatically it will increment its value for example i have checked the copy for ayush so that's why it is showing one if i will check more student copy then after the value will be increasing just right now i'll be showing how ayush can see the marks given by the teacher so let's switch to ayush jha's account again just right now ayush need to go to class 5 computer option here he need to click on to new assignment class test option again after clicking on to that he need to swipe up after swiping up he can find it out that the edited computer basic assignment has been provided by the teacher so after he will be clicking over there he can find it out the teacher has graded him with a grade and in the similar way he can also personally come in to the teacher so in this way the student can submit the assignment as well as the teacher can return the assignment to the student again and then after the return assignment can be seen by the student again so by this way a particular student can submit the assignment to their respective teachers hopefully this video will help you in some particular way if you have any query you can personally whatsapp me thank you very much student for watching as well as learning thank you very much